Hey, how you guys doing? This is Lee Abbott, and this is Tasting Talk. This is Good Greg. What goes good with Thanksgiving? Because people show up and they go, I don't know what to pour with the flavors of the season. So we are in the best place possible to do that in Santa Barbara wine country. We are at Bouchon. Devin Ogden, my gorgeous female co-host, welcome. <laughs> Hello, thank you guys so much for having Good us. We have Mitchell here, the owner of Bouchon. We have Chef Greg Murphy right here with us. We're very honored to be here. Oh, now is that not the sound of a party? <laughs> word, huh? I mean, we think of champagne always as just New Year's Eve. But really, the kickoff for the uh, holiday season is Thanksgiving. And I think with butternut squash soup we're about to enjoy and a little bit of bubbly, you couldn't do any better. We garnished it with some uh, fried sage and some pepitas. Those are basically pumpkin seeds we roasted. I get why people love the holidays when I have a bite of that. It's like instantly pumpkin and spice. And, and then Chardonnay, of course, yeah. is in bubble form, yeah. the perfect uh, compliment. Your turn. So we're basically having a sparkling Chardonnay right here. Exactly. That's how I would start. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, kale dressed with the uh, pomegranate vinaigrette. To me, this screams Riesling. Riesling. You know, I love Chardonnay. I love Sauvignon Blanc. Right. So when we kind of get out of that zone and into something like in the Riesling, you have all these other aromatics available to you. Yeah. Okay, so. There's that nose that comes out like a Riesling. Mm. It's got a little bit of spritz to it, which I think is really good for, for cleansing. Once you have mm. a bite of the greens. And... Oh, wow. Isn't that that yummy? is good. That is Thanks really good. Course. Devin, what do you think? It's, it's almost creamy. It's not too sweet. Yep. Um, I do really love it with the greens. I would agree with the creamy. Yeah. What do we have? So this other white wine this. we just poured. No, no, you didn't miss it. Okay. You're right on track. I'm here. Uh, so this is a Gruner. Veltliner. The grape itself is intended to provide these spice flavors, these non Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc flavors, so that you can just appreciate the grape for itself mm -hmm. and not worry about oak and other things. Mm -hmm. And to me, the flavor profile is absolutely perfect for Thanksgiving. Great. And if you had to pick a date when you'd like pull up the drawbridge and now we can release the Gruner, <laughs> it would be Thanksgiving. Wow. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, this so this is, is the, the big tip right here. The big tip is Gruner, Gruner. Veltliner for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving. And whoa, yeah, right on cue, yeah. there's Tony. Yeah. So, Chef, what's going on right here? So, uh, duck breast. See the stuffing on the back side. What would you start us off with this? Before I have a bite of the duck, which one should I have? Personally, I'd have the Pinot Noir first. I chose Sanford because if you asked me to come to your house for dinner on Thanksgiving, yeah. I would pick the Sanford and Benedict Pinot Noir because it's the oldest vineyard in Santa Barbara County. It's got history. It might not be puritanical, you know, Turkey and East Coast, but it works for me. Ooh, nose on that. Right? Yeah. Wow. Old school. Oof. You know, people who say, wow. I love Pinot and I want it to be Burgundian. I want to taste like I ordered a Burgundy from France. Yeah. Oh, but this is it. This is it. If you think of Thanksgiving, you think of cranberry, you think of sage, and you think of all those things, this has got a leaf on your nose as mm. much as that. So it's got to get there. This is not subtle. This is very delicious. Oh, look at that. oh <laughs> that's what I've been excited yeah. about. So this is a date cake. Again, this time of year, I talked about the dried fruit. You have dates that are just coming in that are just uh, Finish curing at this time of year. And we present this one with a uh, blood orange, blood orange caramel. Mm. Um, and typically, you see more caramels in desserts this time of year. More caramelization, deeper, darker flavors. What are we drinking with that? Yes. Well, that's what's so interesting about this type of meal. If you really follow the spice and kind of autumnal the flavors of the holidays. Even you, apple pie and pumpkin pie. Apple pie and yeah. pumpkin pie, or, right. or pumpkin, pumpkin pie. ice cream, and whatever right. it may be. To me, Grenache is the perfect bridge wine. It's kind of right in the middle, goes yeah. with a lot of different food. And if you finish up with a dessert that's not overly sweet, like this beautiful Marcona date cake, uh, you love the fact that you have a little bit of red wine left. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and I can have that dessert. Totally. It's easy. You know, I'm going to so. share because I like you guys, but wow. if I didn't like you. Usually you don't. Right. I mean, that's amazing. All right. Grenache. Here Grenache. Bridge wine. Grenache bridge wine. Holidays. This is great. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Chef. Happy Thanksgiving. What a great Happy call. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh. I know. Wow. You're the first one to say that. I love it. That's great. <laughs> Cheers. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers.